Hey guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here. Welcome to tutorial 6 on how to create a first person shooter game in Unity. Now, if you're new, I recommend you go and view my previous tutorials and then come to this one so you'll have a better understanding of what's going on. And remember to check in the link in the description, the 4D link in the description below, and download the packages there. If, uh, they're all free. Anyways, let's get down to it today. As I told you guys in the previous tutorial, we're going to be dealing with loading the next level you know and I have a simple JavaScript here you just need to just drop the main camera and it'll just load the next level for you so you just check the link in the description below download the uh, script there it's a tutorial 6 folder and the scripts inside just take the script and after you import it in your project and just drop it onto your main camera that's simple so you can set this time to whatever you want you can set it to 1000, 3000, 5000, what that basically means is going to count down from the amount you set here. So let's say we have 3000 here. It basically means when it counts down for 3000 and reaches a zero, then it's going to load the next level. But for tutorial purposes, I'm just going to put 20. You guys can play around with that and set it however you see fit. Yeah. And remember, just open up the script and I'm going to show you guys something pretty quickly. Um, as I was telling you guys, it about the script in a previous tutorial. Whatever you set here means that it's gonna load that level. So you need the build settings. So you need to go to tutorial assets and just go to scene and just take the basic city I give you guys and just go to build settings files, build settings and just take this basic city and just drop it in there. Good stuff. So that basically means that it's gonna load this level. As you can see, it has one there. Zero is the level we're on, and one is the level we wanted to loot. Good stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have multiple um scenes, you know, you can just copy everything in the script and just change up the level that you want to load, and yeah, you can load your next levels like that. So good stuff. Just open the basic city pretty quickly, and um, yeah, just all you're gonna want to do is uh drop a first person control in there you know just to just so you guys can see that the stuff is working you know so you can just go to tutorial 4 take the free power of the player that I have and just drop it in there like that you know I did that already yeah it's good stuff and yeah that's pretty much it all you need to do now just go back to the previous scene and just hit play and you'll see the script in effect yeah that's that pretty simple nothing too advanced I saw the script in uh, this scriptic effect in games like um, quick tree arena and so forth it's counting down there you can see but they actually have once you kill a certain amount of enemy and the time is equal to you know so this time you know zero it's gonna load the next level as you can see there one zero and it loads the next level. That's what we want, and that's what happens. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hope you guys like it. Hope it helps you out to load your next level, you know, so you don't need to be on one level all the time, you know, roaming around after you kill all your enemies. You can get bored, obviously, because of your surroundings and you know, stuff like that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. For the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys, you know, a little bit of some more basics you know adding some some 3d models in here and i have some models and get some models you guys and you guys can just import in your project and just position these stuff wherever you see fit you know just make your scene look a little more lively and just like you know normal jungle you know we want a jungle with like a hot light or a hut or some kind of old house or something you know so you could go in and just walk around and kill your enemies you know stuff like that yeah pretty much it if you like this tutorial just give me a thumbs up uh, any problems comment below get back to you guys so yeah that's pretty much it until next time continue making games peace